Mr. Muhammad Ishaq. Mr. Chairman, sir, in the past year we have seen much debate on the topic of inequality, sparked in large part by the publication of Tio Yu Yen's book, This is What Inequality Looks Like. The book and subsequent commentary suggest that the system today is a major contributor to why poor families cannot break out of poverty. There seem to be widespread acknowledgement and acceptance that social inequality including but not limited in income inequality is a serious issue that we need to address as a society. But there, there, but there doesn't seem to be an agreement on the root cause and what policies or action will actually maximize the chances to reducing inequal, income inequality. And overall, there seem to be a dearth of robust discussion on this. Many views are advocated without strong basis or justifications. The book itself is a compelling read and has raised and has helped raise awareness of the poor in Singapore. It also advocates universal welfare as a solution to the problem, but did not discuss the trade-offs and alternative approaches. The government too does not seem to have directly responded to much of the discussion or the positions proposed. Much of the ensuing debate, save a few thoughtful pieces, has seemed to have consisted of differing views being presented, but without much substantiation. For instance, some forum letters in the Straits Times said that indeed the problem must be the system and prevailing policies. Others have said the problem must be the low earning individual or family itself. Two opposing views that cannot be reconciled in the absence of constructive dialogue and discussion. In July 2018, there was a symposium on the interim housing project for low income families. Speakers included Minister Desmond Lee, SMS Maliki Osman and the executive director of PAVE, Sudan Nair. I understand PAVE was the organization that worked directly with the families in the interim housing project. In November, a book entitled How Working Together Matters and edited by Professor David Chan was published. This book seems to suggest that the system is not in itself the problem and that individuals themselves can be deciders of their own fates. In fact, in this book, Professor David Chan seems to warn against reading without discernment, and I quote, therefore, be careful and calm when you, do all, when you do all kinds of survey studies, when you read articles in social media or in the mainstream media poll reports, and even scientific surveys or ethnographic interviews. Sometimes the data, findings, interpretation, and conclusion are not as reliable or rigorous as they claim or appear to be." End quote. We have in the course of one year two books with two different positions, with many resounding expressions of support on both sides and not much of a response from the government, at least thus far, on a topic that is critical and important to us as a nation and society now and in the years ahead. I would like to ask the Honourable Minister what his views are on this matter and how we should interpret the differences in views and more crucially what it all means in terms of what we should actually do and how we should move forward as individuals in a collective society. Thank you.